Rich here and I hope everybody is staying safe and keeping well out there. Today we have my brushless X Flamingo upgrade. I'm using all this free time that we've got to like modify the heck out of just about everything I own. And this absolutely cries out for modification. And that is because I have a feeling with a little bit more power, this thing could pull wheelies like the Tuk Tuk in the James Bond film. Anybody remember that modified thing? In there it was a trike and it pulled wheelies. See you in your... Oh, James Bond type wheelie. But anyway, I digress. The X Flamingo is just about impossible to tip over due to this little running rail around the outside of it. It does the claim 25 miles an hour that they state on the outside of the box. So... What are we going to use for this conversion? Well, let me get the camera down and show. First of all, we're going to need the brushless motor and ESC combo. And this one's got a Dean's connector. The stock battery is a nickel metal hydride one with the mini Aftamiar connector. But I've got a couple of 2S LiPo packs with Dean's connectors on, which should fit inside the X Flamingo without any problem at all. However, despite this brushless motor and ESC combination being absolutely dirt cheap, it is currently got a combined ESC and receiver in there, which means I'm going to need a new receiver. Now this is my Dumbo 6 channel one with built-in gyro, so that does beg the question, with the drift tires fitted to this thing, whether I'm going to be able to drift it easily with the gyro. I've tried it off camera with those tires on without the gyro and it's a bit of a handful to say the least. And whilst I've got this brushless combo that I know should drop straight into there, I've also got this brushless motor, I'm going to see whether that will fit, because that has got bags of power in it. Anyway, enough talking, Richie boy, to work. Well, I'll get down to it fairly quickly with the X Flamingo on here. I've already body off this rear cage, just four screws holding that down, two at the back, two underneath, nice and easy. And this is solid metal, this is about a four or five mil thick metal chassis plate on here. I've also taken the liberty of undoing the driver on there. The existing battery is this little nickel metal hydride one which slots underneath there. However, you can see, I think, that 2S pack should maybe just squeeze in there a little bit of an angle. But this 2S one definitely will do. So we've got the battery sorted. Now, you don't have to worry about that connector because my new ESC going in there has got Dean's on it. And at this point, I would just say, what's everyone else up to? Have your say in the comments section. What are you working on RC-wise? In fact, but actually, you can put whatever you're doing this week down in the comment section below this video. As I'm interested to see what people are up to, RC stuff or not. As I do care about people, and I do care about the great hardship everyone is going through. But I'm sure people are doing some fun stuff, finding some creative stuff. Hopefully my challenge is helping along the way. Anyway, spinning it around, next job looks to be remove all this casing and the gubbins on air to get access to the motor. The ES combined ESC and receiver looks fairly easy to deal with, so let me do that. Okay, my advice is when you're working on any RC card, don't be afraid to use a cordless screwdriver. But use something like one of these Black & Decker Roto bits, which is purely designed as a screwdriver, as opposed to a cordless drill, which can strip the uh, threads due to the torque. But also, loosen each screw a little bit before you use the driver on there because that minimizes the chances of them getting and the reason why that one is spinning freely is because that being the last one the top has come off completely revealing all we need to get to now i have to say this car is looking and feeling particularly easy to work upon nice and simple from here on in fingers crossed five more screws to remove to get the gearbox casing off there and get the motor out of the way and the ESC is simply held down by double-sided tape. Prize that up. You all know it's a three-wire servo. So unlike a lot of these cars from the far east, that are five-wire servos, three-wire servos, that's going to fit my Dumbo RC receiver. So no need to change the steering servo, which is a big plus. And I would say, if you're not used to taking RC cars apart, it is no bad idea to film yourself. Because if you make a mistake, you can always rewind the film and see, oh, hang on, where did that screw come out of? Where, did it, where does it go back in, etc., etc. Okay, with those screws removed, gearbox casing comes off. Motor is ready to remove. I'm assuming we've got two screws to remove. Yeah, on the underside here. So let's unplug the servo and then very gently use the screwdriver to prise away the original ESC and receiver. No point in busting that and going out like a mad thing because you might want to use this combination on something else. Now with the two motor mount screws removed, ESC disconnected, the whole lot just comes away in one. Now I would point out when I said this car has got a metal chassis plate to it, if armor made 
RC trikes. Oh my God, they would probably make one like this. Just check out that thickness of that metal chassis plate. Unreal at this price point. Now when it comes to fitting a new motor, this brushless one on the right hand side here looks like it will squeeze in there fairly easily with the mounting holes. I do not think I am going to be able to overpower the thing and squeeze this thing in. Now it's just a plastic push to fit gear on here, although I've got some metal ones in my spare cupboard, so I'm going to remove that very carefully using the pliers like that. Okay, well I've got my new brushless motor in, ESC mount in there, so I just have to fit this engine cover back in place. Okay, well I've tidied all the wiring up with a couple of Ziploc toys on there. ESC is mounted down using double-sided tape. Dunbar C, six-channel radio, complete with gyro. Mounted down double-sided tape, a little bit close to the edge, but we should be okay. Mounted on the on-off switch, just slightly inboards using uh, Kev Talbot's uh, favorite weapon, a hot glue on there. Notice I mounted that back from the edge because what I don't want it when it's, if the car's leaning over, don't want that on-off switch catching on the ground and pulling it back on there. Anyway, time to power the thing up. Test it before putting all the driver's head and all the gubbins back in over the top. And to anyone who is not aware of the Dumbo RC radio, forgive the slightly daft name, six channels. Yours with a built-in gyro, which is full adjustable from the top of the transmitter, for $29.99. Extra receivers, just $9.99. That is why I love this radio so much. Oh, and by the way. It's got 500 meter range. Now to anyone wondering what this will be like with the drift tires on with the built-in gyro in there. Move the rear round and you see the front counter steering already. Absolutely outstanding. 29 bucks. Question is, with all that brushless power, is this thing going to be worth it? Richie, I have a feeling the power to rate ratio on this thing may be up there with the completely Bonkers. Okay, all the wiring sorted out so it stays out of the way when the body gets over it. It's the wobbly head back on. Time to get the body on. Let's see if that will wheelie. Really. Let's go outside and see just how out the extra Mingo brushless conversion does. Just remember guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. Well time to see if the X Flamingo can do a wheelie now we've converted it to brushless. Fingers crossed, come on Richie. Oh nope. I was hoping we might do. Might be lacking on grip. Well, it's become fairly obvious what the problem is. Too much power. This thing is spinning both of the rear wheels. Okay, so first thoughts are is, it's actually spinning the wheels, which may be what can't wheatly. <laughs> might have a little bit too much power in here. Just checking everything's all right. We'll increase the brakes, because last night the power level proved to be just absolutely ridiculous. And I was finding, see it's skidding on the wheels there, even quite a bit of power in reverse, but just crazy. You have created an, another absolute monster here, Richie. Got full throttle. Just the power to weight ratio now is just plain loopy. Ooh. I think it may be a little bit too much because that sounded like something bad to do with opinion. How many driver's heads fallen off? But for its first outing, the brushless X Flamingo has shown awesome promise. Well, anyway, I do feel the X Flamingo trike is in the spirit of when RC car guys lose their minds because you've got to be a bit nuts to build something like this. The fact it's got enough power to be spinning the rear wheels says a lot for it. The power to weight ratio is ridiculous. It's hard to get that across on video, but I'm squeezing the thing and it's just like a slot car, the acceleration across the drive on there. Now, putting all that power down, I think it is the pinion that is gone. They're just these tiny little plastic ones and nobody will be able to see it even if I zoom in on camera. And it's only got about a two mil hole in the center with a flat spot on it. Doesn't even have a little hex screw in it because it's not metal, it's plastic. It simply pushes on very, very tightly. So I will have a look and see if I can order a metal one. But as you might have guessed, I've got this spare plastic one in my hand. So yours truly is gonna take all of that back apart again and fit this. Anyway, people, hope you like this. If you want to see more of the X Flamingo, want to get it fully sorted, and with those drift tires on, which are tucked away down the back there somewhere, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.
Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.